So how do you self-publish a manga? I get asked this question quite a bit, even though I haven't published a manga in a while. I'm still working on one. It's called Diaries of Holy Night. There's one up right now. But how did I make this manga? I'm going to tell you. I first started with this. It's a book called Diaries of a Holy Night. It took me, gosh, like seven years to write. Most people get done a book in like, I don't know, a couple of years, and then they make it. Well, I made mine into a book. It actually did pretty well, got published. And then I decided, actually, the publisher there decided that we should move forward with making a manga. So I did. I made Diaries of a Holy Night. It's actually about my son, and he goes to fight demons in this other world with his friends. So that's the best way to explain it. It's also a really fun... But this, this is free. Let me tell you how to actually make it. You need to first come up with a concept. Get a story. And so then you're going to start taking these stories and you got to look at your page. Every page in here of the manga is panels. And those panels are specific scene from the point of view that you have. So you have to start seeing like, okay, this is a therapist talking to him about the PTSD he's going through. So boom, right there, because he's been through a lot of wars and like, he doesn't think he has PTSD, therapist does. And then she starts to believe him. But you have to look at every one of those panels as a scene from any part of your manga. And you have to explain what's going on. Is there going to be talking? Is there going to be action? Is there going to be nothing? Like, what do you want to emphasize in each one of these scenes? And then what I did is I can't art, like at all. So I went ahead and found Panu Le Luce. And I found him on a site called Fiverr. Fiverr is going to have every one of your needs for making manga, books, but almost anything. And they'll do it for you. They'll, heck, they, if you want a concept, you could pay people to give you concepts and scripts. But I already had my concept. I already had my script. And it took me years to come up with this book. Diaries of a Whole Night. I still think it looks beautiful. But... This concept wasn't as good as this concept, according to my publisher. So then after you hire your artist, I what I typically do is I just tell Panu, I give him page 18, scene one. And if it's just one whole scene, I tell him what's going on. He's laying down, he's asleep. Uh, you know, I want him to have a stat card over here because, you know... To let people know about him. And then you go on with that. End of page. Next page. Page. Scene one. Page scene two. Whatever. How many scenes you're going to have. Every one of the panels is a different scene. That's the way I look at it. And then this is, I believe, 102 pages. Yeah. Yeah. 102 pages. You've got yourself a full manga. The reason why I have mine this big Mostly because I wanted people to get the most out of this from each page. Because it's expensive. It's like 15 bucks. Whereas you can go get a manga right now for like 7 But I wanted people to have a lot more. And then what I did is I took this manga and I self-published it on Amazon. Now there's a couple of things you're going to need for publishing. Obviously... You're going to need this ISBN. You can self-publish through Amazon, but they're going to take all of it without this ISBN. You need this number. And this number is not cheap. It's about 100 bucks, And you're probably also going to need, I think, I think they're 25 for the barcode. Get the barcode. Because then you could start putting them up there on not only Amazon, Barnes & Noble. Any kind of booksellers. You could just send them that. And then you're going to upload a cover. Uh, it's going to need to be specialized for both. You could find the person that does the specializing on Fiverr. And then you're going to need to format your pictures. That also you can find on Fiverr. It's pretty nice. But yeah, Diaries of Holy Night. By the way, if you want to read this, completely free on Webtoon. Completely free. This. It goes all the way up to, I believe, chapter 13, although I've got 14 and we're working on 15 now. But it did take a whole year hiatus. You know why? I got injured. 
But yeah, so that's how you do it. First, get a concept, okay? Concept. Can you art? If you can art, you don't need to get an artist, but I did get an artist. So, and then if you have the concept you, you can art, go ahead and start getting your pages, start mapping out the panels, map out the story. Where do you want to go to? And that's what I do with Panu. And then he gives me just, just amazing stuff. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy what he gives me. You should read it. It's fantastic. And then once you have that entire file, mine's just a hundred pages, but once you get that entire file, then you're going to upload it to, I go to Amazon. There's other self publishers out there for manga and comic books. You can go there. But I personally went to Amazon and then I bought my ISBN because I wanted, no, here's what the ISBN does. I, I kind of went off on a tangent. The ISBN gives you full control of your book. If you let Amazon give you the ISBN, that means they have full control of your book and they'll give you maybe 30% of sales. This guarantees at least 60, at least. Because they're also, you know, making the book and then they're selling it kind of, they're really not paying anything at all. By the way, you don't have to do this, but you can buy each one of your own thing, not for 15 bucks, but for like a dollar or two. So then you could technically, you know, get a hundred of those manga, which I've done. And, you know, just um, not tell anybody that you're selling them. A lot of people do this. It's, it's not, I don't know why I'm acting like it's a secret. It's not a secret. So what you need is about 20,000 of these for those $2. You're looking at 40 grand <laughs> and you sell them all for 10 <laughs> while on Amazon, they're 15. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. Uh, by the way, this book so far in the manga where I have it right now with Panu is only, I think it's like five chapters into this book. Oh, wait a minute. No. I'm not even cutting this up. Uh, yeah, sorry, it's 10 chapters into this book. And this is the first book. There's multiple books. Diaries of Holland. I don't sell that book anymore. Uh, if I were to sell that, I would have to go back and like edit a lot of it because the editing was... Eh. I might revisit that one day, but that takes a lot of time. So that's how you make a manga. I hope this helps, but this is how you make a manga. And you can. I've done it. If I can do it, you definitely can do it. So there you go. How to make a manga. Uh, let me know if this helps. And uh, also let me know if I can help you. We do have a Discord now. I'm going to put that into my profile like right now. But if you need any more help, hit me up on the Discord. Hit me up here. But let me know.